So, without further ado, let's go hand in the, uh, the next, or the, what was it called? The Typhoon? Something like that? I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Mm. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking us. People seem to think we're hiding something. Only because he lies in his hand. I don't buy for a second he was with Purity first. I think someone slipped him into Sandy's room. Alright, let's drop off the item to our best friend here and buddy, Mr. Frank Pritchard. Hello, how are you doing, Frank? Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. <laughs> if this is about the Typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. <laughs> Don't think, just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop mm -hmm. trying to do my job. I guarantee you will get along better that way. Okay, so that's that sorted. Some energy and an ebook. What's this? Uh, Lecture Institute of Medicine. Uh -huh. Blah blah blah. What's to read in this game? Very reminiscent of the others. Yeah, I think we're done in here. Let's head out. We got a meeting with the boss. What they talk about? David and you, Darrow? Let's talk to David. That's what Bill Gates and Steve Jobs right. talk about. See, man, he's trying to convince him to come out of hiding. Make a statement that will counteract the attack. Darrow's not hiding. Elevator soft. <laughs> I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check him with Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown. Can't hurt to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. Hmm. I'm hoping it'll pay off for us later. Sanders was furious when he found out his hacker was augmented. He's not gonna rest till he finds out who set him up. Oh, and you're naive enough to think he'll share the information when he gets it. I thought you were ready for this, Adam. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Hmm. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends in the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. 
Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. Yeah, I wasn't about to argue the toss since we did let the guy go. Um, though I thought it was a good idea at the time, but probably not a good idea. Who knows? We'll see how it pans out. Oh, what's that on his desk? Oh, just a newspaper. Well, let's head outside and, uh... Or, uh, outside the office, rather. No need to use his personal elevator. Uh, yeesh. So much. Plenty of hotness around, but not at the desk. <laughs> ah, the bathroom of the future. Absolutely nothing in here. As usual, empty. Yep. So I guess we get checked out first. And then we head over to the morgue. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Adam Jensen? Okay. What's that objective? to the office, shall we? Security manager's okay. office. General Adam Jensen. Got a look so at this him. is my office, I guess. Nice. What do you mean? Man, what am I doing here? This is nuts. Hello. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. <laughs> I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff, and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Hmm. How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. Hmm. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Um. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropazine. What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? Hmm. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? 
I just look him up in the phone book. His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the hmm. security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Okay, so we got another mission. Sounds intriguing. Oh, a bottle of wine. Won't be taking that just yet. Let's look at secretary. Let's have a look at what that's about. Jensen, didn't you know? Oh, didn't know you were coming back, so I deleted your entire network account. I only just received the order to set up a new one a few minutes ago, so if you don't get the password. Oh, don't like the password I picked, live with it. A. Jensen, password Mandrake, Pritchard. Password should also work on your home computer. That's good to know. So, man, Drake. Ah, we've actually got an email. Adam, I really don't mean to bug you on this, but I think uh, I've got another suspect uh, in those neuroposine thefts. I caught Denzel Mitchell going over my stack of VersaLife purchase orders. He said he needed to verify the legal address for their contract. David wanted him to look over, but... He'd have that address on a dozen correspondences already. For a lawyer, you'd think he'd come up with a better defense. His door code is 1364, by the way. <laughs> a pythene. <laughs> nice. So. 1364. Speak to Will, within in Office 23. Gave me access code, but I told him to wait. Last week, when he is false accusing people. Okay. So. Yeah, it's nice it, it notes down your emails for you so you don't have to write it down. I really like that. So let's head on out. And we got a bunch of stuff to do. Um, probably go for a checkup first. Let's head downstairs. I took the long way round. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, head down. Hidden areas will net you small XP rewards when discovered. It's always good to know. Don't forget, limb clinics are open 24-7 to satisfy all your augmentation needs. Good to know. Yeah, so um, it's nice, as I was saying, it's nice that it notes everything down in your, um, in your uh, notebook, as it were. Because uh, I remember uh, in some games at least having to write stuff down it was always a pain. Like codes and stuff so you remember them. So yeah, so I think we'll go to the clinic first and we'll get some limbs and such. Uh, get them, well, get them looked at, I should say, not <laughs> get new limbs, but yeah, have them looked at and see if they're okay. 
I wonder where we're gonna end up. Is it gonna be like a city or Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Hmm. They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such dramatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? <laughs> Should I expect some form of compensation for this? <laughs> oh goodness. I can't believe that option's in there, man. You can be such a douche in this game if you want to be, but uh, we're not going to play him that way. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Yeah, it's very suspicious. Just finished after the, the thing, so that was very weird. Um, we just have a look at this, um, let's have a look at the map, I haven't had a proper look at the map yet, so, you will have to indulge me while I look at where we're going, hmm. let's zoom out a bit, there we go, so what's this, motherly ties, let's see, evils, and the clinic, I want to meet, um... Yeah, I think we want to meet with the doctor, so we just head down, straight down the street. And then take a left. I don't really have anything against it. I just think it's disgusting. I mean, grafting men with you. It's really cool you get to walk around the streets and stuff. I didn't think we were going to get to do that. That's awesome. City of the future. Hello, future man. Still playing video games on your phone? That looks delicious, doesn't it? 
Yeah, I'll have a look at you. No, no, I wanna look. I wanna look. Oh, you took the last roll. Oh. I was gonna eat that. This is Il Metamorphis Morphoso. Il Metamorphoso. Detroit Opera, Opera House. Sounds fascinating. So here we are at the clinic. One, approve of these protests. These limb people are drug pushers. Someone is getting rich while the rest of us are suffering. I wouldn't know about those things. All I know is that this violence doesn't serve anyone. Well, I don't I know bad enough. Becomes, will the pro-human groups retaliate when Bill Taggart... Okay, let's go see the dock and see if we check out. Nutrients. You can find it in the environment. <laughs> they can be consumed so you can replenish your energy bar. Typhoon. Oh, it's the Typhoon Explosive System Augmentation. That's what it is. Sounds good. Mr. Jensen, David Serlov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Ah, so we can, uh, we can buy some, uh, Dr. LeBlanc, we can buy blue. some, uh, Praxis Dr. kits. Oh, Typhoon ammo. Hypo stim. Mm. Pretty cool. So they cost five thousand and we have nineteen. So Oh they sold out. <laughs> nice. Um Pro Energy Jar. Don't really need that, do we? Typhoon ammunition? Don't think we do we have that augment? I don't think we have that augmentation in yet, so. So that's all I've got right now. It's not a lot, is it? Um. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Very use well. it in good health. Can we use the, uh, the kit now? Yep, I guess so. Oh, three kits available. Nice. So, what should we improve? Hmm. Could use a stealth enhancer. Social enhancer. Hacking analyze add on. Hacking stealth. Hmm. Let's see. Robot domination. now. And, uh, what's this for? 
checks against harmful gases allow sprint for longer periods of time. Nah. Typhoon explosive system. Launch mini explosives. <laughs> oh goodness, that sounds noisy. Aim stabilizer. Revu reduces movement and induced penalties. Okay. Take down a single individual. Move and throw objects. Increase inventory size by two columns. That would be cool. Punch through a wall. I get more inventory space. I'm almost running out. And the last one. Oh god, there's so much to choose from. What's this? Take down multiple opponents. Mm. Smart vision. See through walls. That could be handy. Cooldown timer. Know exactly when they have drop out of their alarm state. I think we need some sort of stealth enhancer. Dep stealth related information. Wasn't that like a cloaking device? Yeah, a cloaking device. What's that all about? Become invisible for a short period of time. Warning, people can still hear you move. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Now oh, it costs two. Damn. What's this? Energy uh, sprint. Leg prosthesis. Jump and sprint. Walk silently. Oh, run and walk silently. That sounds good. Activation manual. And that costs two as well. Bugger. Yeah, everything costs two. <laughs> Except that. Some more hacking stuff. Field there we go. Will you be purchasing something Ooh. after all? Can we buy more now? Or are they still out of stock? Still out of stock. As you wish. Take care of yourself. Mm hmm. So, as you can see, we got two more columns of inventory space. That should come in handy. Protesting is not against the law. I'm yeah, some pretty pretty long loading screens, but there's a lot to load. Um, it's uh, no, that, that wasn't too bad actually. That was quite quick. But yeah, when you're loading it for the first time, it's pretty long. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? Yep, for now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. That's very true, but uh, we're out of time, guys, so I'll see you next time.